Hi First Lego League teams, welcome to another episode of Space Insights by the European Space Agency. Hopefully some of the stuff we talk about today will help you in your inter-orbit project. My name is Matt Taylor, I work for the European Space Agency and I'm a scientist. Most recently I've worked on the Rosetta mission. Rosetta was a fantastically exciting mission, it was designed and built to go and visit a comet very much like this one. In fact, this is a model of the comet churumov gerasimenko that we visited with Rosetta. Comets are very small, this is about four kilometers across, balls of dust and ice. They're made of material that was there at the beginning of the solar system, and this material went on to form the sun and the planets. So by studying comets, we get an idea into what went into building the planets and the sun. Rosetta was a fantastically complex mission. We had to fly very far away from the sun, so we needed a lot of electricity. We needed a lot of fuel. The mission took over 10 years to get to its target. So when the scientists came up with these ideas a few decades ago, they had to then work with the engineers to work out how they would do their science with a spacecraft. What would the spacecraft design be? So over the years, we evolved a design that addressed the science questions. So we had very big solar panels to power the spacecraft we had to put enough fuel in. There was a lander deployed onto the comet called Philae. We had to make sure that its legs would survive the impact onto the surface of the comet. So what we have is a set of requirements that then end up to be a design of a spacecraft. And in fact, like we have with various Lego models, we have these build instructions. So I've got one from Curiosity and also the Saturn V. Rosetta itself has a user manual that we can go back and take a look at the plans and the engineering document. So you can see what the overall configuration of the platform module looked like. So very much like Lego, we have with our real spacecraft. So by playing with Lego, like I did as a child, building spacecraft like I did as a child, you may advance from doing that to building real spacecraft. Thanks for watching and good luck.